Every financial institution needs a model risk management framework. What exactly does this mean? Our opinion is that a best practice model risk management framework comprises the following five components. The first one is governance. These are the actions and decisions which are taken by the board of directors and the senior management to direct the firm, to agree the risk appetite and policy, to control the risk that's taken, to approve individual models. Next is the model life cycle. This is a clear process and workflow description of the life of the individual model from A to Z. At each step in this journey, it's necessary to define what exactly happens and more importantly, what the key controls are to make sure that the model is of the correct quality and that risks have been correctly managed. The model infrastructure is vitally important. The model starts as a prototype, is developed ultimately in the systems of the bank to produce reports. This makes the IT environment in which we do both development and production work vitally important. The monitoring and reporting is also a vital important. It can often happen that a model is approved, but that certain unforeseen errors apply at a later stage. Therefore, approved models need to be monitored, make sure that the model output continues to be sensible and useful. Last but not least, there is what we call the model container. This is the library in which we keep a record of all models in the bank together with the appropriate records. We have the risk assessment that was completed at the moment of the registration to the model. We also have all the documents appropriate to the model describing the design and implementation and monitoring. And we have the reports which are generated by the model. It means that in the event of a supervisory inspection, all required documents for the model library are in the same place and can be easily accessed. This facilitates better model risk management.